Summer from Banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Flora Sky. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time, we went into Team Aqua's hideout, and we actually chased them down to the point that they had to flee in a submarine. In today's episode, we're actually going to go ahead and make our way back to OC Pack Town. So let's go ahead and fly there, guys, and let's go ahead and check it out. I hope you guys are having a good week. I've actually been having a really good Monday. My week started off well. I went ahead and went to the gym today, you know, got a bit of a workout. It's actually the first time I've had the chance to be able to work out since I donated that kidney to my uncle. So it's really, really great to be able to go back out there and to actually work out. I'm telling you guys, I'm so thankful to be able to work out and exercise. It's something that I definitely won't take for granted again. But now that we're here in Route U, we're actually going to dive back into the sea. And here we go, guys. We are underwater. So I did go ahead and teach Mako Dive. So we'll be able to explore all these different areas. I know that this is where we're supposed to go today. So it's going to be a really, really good time. I'm looking forward to seeing where this takes us. Whenever I go into these little underwater areas, it actually reminds me a lot of Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages. If you guys have actually ever had the chance to play those games, I highly recommend them. I'm pretty sure they're on the eShop, so I'm sure you could probably get them now for super cheap. They're actually really, really great games, and I've always had just such a good time with them. Let's go ahead and battle this guy then. And whenever you're underwater, you have the Zora Flippers, and it looks just like Pokemon. I'm telling you guys, it's another 2D game, so it's just very similar when you go underwater, and it's something that I really, really enjoy. I love playing through those Oracle games. Those Zelda games are probably some of my favorite. It was actually Oracle of Seasons or Oracle of Ages. That was my first game that I actually bought for my Game Boy Color. So it's really cool to have the chance that I could actually, you know, put them on my systems now and then I can actually play through them again. And it's really great. I still have the Game Boy Color cartridge of Ages. And I believe I have one of Seasons as well. So it's just something that has always stuck with me. I think it's one of those games that I feel like whenever I play through, they always make me happy. Let me go for a Thunder onto this Wall Rain though. We'll see how much we can do to this guy. It's only level 46. So it's not like it should be that difficult to take down. Probably one more Thunder will be able to take this guy down. And let's see what else we can do. Let, let's see if we can hang in there, guys. Okay, it's starting to hail. Are you serious? I'm gonna go ahead and take a wild guess, too, that we are probably heading in the right direction, considering we're having to go up against this beast of an Ice-type Pokemon here. I'm gonna go ahead and go for one more Thunder, then. And this guy is actually gonna use a full restore? Okay, who is this guy that is randomly actually putting up a battle most of the time these random trainers get crushed but i guess once in a while you know one of them is actually going to step it up and with that guys we are so close to taking down the wall rain if i could just hit one more little move on this we will be great to go as i was telling you guys though this is the first time that i've had the chance to actually go and work out in a while and it is really awesome i definitely want to push myself this year to be healthier and to just work out more and it's something that I'm really, really glad that I can actually do again. It's been so long since I've actually had the opportunity to exercise or even been allowed to exercise that now that I have the chance to again, I'm going to try to make the most of it. And we'll see how it goes. You know, I'll definitely keep you guys up updated on the progress of how it's going. But right now, I definitely have a long way to go. I still have to work out probably really, really hard to get back to, you know, the best shape that I can be. So we'll see how that goes. With that, guys, the War Rain has been taken down, though. So good for us. We're actually doing a really great job. And let's keep on moving through here. We defeated the Random Traveler. And the thing is, I'm pretty sure that is a gym leader that they're using as the sprite. Oh, my goodness. We finally got ourselves the leftovers, though. So I've been telling you guys for the longest time that I want to find the leftovers. And we've actually gone ahead and found them. And that is so freaking cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and give the leftovers... You know what? I don't know who I will give it to yellow for now, considering yellow doesn't have an item. But I'll go ahead and probably change that up a little bit. I want to get the leftovers on a tankier one of our Pokemon. So we'll go ahead and figure that out. It looks like this is just a dead end. But regardless of that, I'm still really happy that we found the leftovers. If that's what it took for us to find them, I'll go ahead and be really thankful about that. It looks like. Ooh, okay. Let's go ahead and surf here then, and we'll see where this takes us. It, so, apparently, there are going to be a bunch of different dive spots, and they're each going to take us to a little different place. I guess this isn't the right dive spot. Let's go ahead and make our way back to the original dive spot then, and we'll keep on going. I'm just glad that we got the leftovers. That's an item that I've always been looking for. I tend to always 
skip over it or I tend to not find it in other games. So I'm just glad that we were able to find it here. Let's keep doing some surfing around though and see what we can find, guys. Oh man, I'm pretty sure we can't really get over there anytime soon. So we might actually have to surf to another little area. Let me go ahead and make our way back up to the top then. I think that's what it's going to be. We're probably going to have to surf a little bit further down. And we probably didn't go far enough. So let me go ahead and just use another repel. And we'll see what we can find under here. If anything, it's always nice to go underwater. It's just a nice little peaceful experience. If we go to the right now, is there going to be anything over here? Okay, so this is going to lead us elsewhere we'll go ahead and figure out where exactly it'll take us but this is promising i'm actually very very happy with the way this is going and what is this another another dead end here so what we can't get through this okay let's go to the left then and let's see where this is gonna take us maybe the left side was the right way i'm not really sure but it looks like there is another dead end here so there are a bunch of different little paths at this place i guess it's just a matter of figuring out which way you want to go i'm actually a little bit lost here guys i thought that we would be able to figure it out but it's turned out to be a little bit more difficult all right i'm actually gonna go ahead and see if we can rise up then let's go ahead and make our way from the water and see if i can go a little bit further around here and route you and see if i can find a couple other diving spots Ooh, let's see this looks pretty good where is this taking us okay it looks like we have made it to another diving spot and this actually is another really big one. So whenever you see these big diving spots, uh, one of these has to be it, right? One of these has to be the spot that leads us to where we want to be. We are chasing down Team Aqua, guys. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. That is who we're going after. We are tracking these guys down. We are hopefully going to find them. I see a cave over there. Oh my goodness, I see a cave. How do I get to that cave? Okay, come on. Let's go back up to the surface. I see that cave over there to the left. So if we can dive down here, maybe this is where we're supposed to be. Okay, if we can actually make our way inside that cave, that would be great. So with that, guys, it looks like we made our way inside, ooh, of a cave. And we found the submarine as well. So this looks really, really good. I think we might have just found Team Aqua. We have made it to the seafloor cavern. Hey, I remember your face. If you're here, it must mean that you're about to mess with us again. A bunk like you, do you really think you can take on Team Aqua? I'd say you're too early by about a trillion years. You're a perfect fit for the likes of Team Magma. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and take on this Team Aqua grunt. He's been talking a mad game over here, so let's see how good this guy is going to be. We're going to go ahead and take on his two Pokemon. He's going to start off with a Golbat, and that's okay. I have Valiant up in front. I know that Valiant hasn't actually gotten that much action yet, but we could, we could probably get you know our valiant into some action soon right now though i'm gonna go ahead and send out yellow yellow should be able to ko this gold bat plus we have our leftovers there so it's a good time to go ahead and give them a shot we should be able to ko this gold bat quite easily too i'm actually glad that we found team aqua this easy too i thought for a second that it was gonna be really really difficult to track them down and i'm glad that we were actually able to make it through there once in a while i get to our objectives in a very very good fashion and i think that definitely happened today so there we go we took down the gold bat we'll have to see what's coming out next let's check this out let's see what pokemon it's gonna be and it's gonna be a gyarados i love going up against gyarados because i can just ko them every time it's not like in pokemon go where you don't see a gyarados very often in this game we've been seeing them left and right i'm definitely telling you guys one of the things i've been trying to get on pokemon go is actually a gyarados i have like 95 magikarp candy but it's like 400 to be able to evolve a Magikarp. So by the time you find a Magikarp that's going to be strong enough, you know, you should have the 400 candies that it takes to actually evolve it. I used to just sit at this nice little spot in the park and just farm up Magikarp. So 95 candies is actually a, quite a good amount, I would say. So maybe I'll just have to go back down there, farm up a little more, and maybe eventually get myself a Gyarados. With that, though, we defeated the Team Aqua Grunt. So let's go ahead and make our way inside of this place then and see what we can find. So this is just the seafloor cavern. Okay, let's keep on pushing through this place then. And cool, they have devised a little bit of a maze for us. And I will definitely have to crack this maze. I know that I have been doing about 50-50 on the puzzles we've been going through recently. So I will definitely try to take that up a notch and, you know, try to succeed a little more on them. So let's keep on going through here. Another thing that 
I've been having recently is I've been having a lot of nightmares, guys. You know what's weird? I have nightmares come and go. It's almost like seasonal, and it's the weirdest thing. Right now, I'm actually going through one of those little seasons of nightmares, and I've been having one like every week. Just some of the freakiest nightmares you could have. I think yesterday, it wasn't even as much of a nightmare. I think last night, I actually dreamt that there were like spaceships everywhere and that there was just like a lot of stuff like that going on that I was like flying around a spaceship. Just some of the weirdest dreams that you could possibly have. So let me go ahead and figure out which one of these caves it's going to be. We have the left one and the right one. I'm gonna go through the right one and I don't think it really mattered too much. I think either way, lead is here. That is so funny. So they actually let you choose which path you wanted to go. And it looks like we made it to a doubles battle. So let's go ahead and prepare. Let's go ahead and see who we can put up for this battle. I think that we'll have to have yellow up in front for sure. So let's go ahead and put yellow and Mako up in front. And we'll be ready to take on these grunts. So let's see what they have in store for us. Okay, great. So there we have it, guys. Let's go ahead and keep moving in then. And it looks like we have a couple more puzzles. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into this and hope that I do them right. So here we go, guys. I am actually, you know, I am actually calculating it in my head right now. You know, I'm, I'm giving this a, a very good calculation of what exactly it is that we need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can, you know, calculate this thing out and get it correct. And if not, the good thing is that we do have an exit right next to us if needed to be able to go back out and let's see if i can get this one i think i got this in the bag guys and with that there we go let's keep on going and ooh, we got a little bit foggier in here and we found ourselves tmo4 calm mine that's actually a really really good tm as well i guess team aqua is just leaving us tms on our way there and okay where which way am i going am i almost there oh my goodness is that the blue orb what is the blue orb doing here? Hold it right there. Heh <laughs> so it was you after all. Behold, see how beautiful it is, blue orb, the treasure of the sea. I have waited so long for this day to come. It surprises me how you've managed to chase me here. But that's all over now. For the realization of my dream, you must disappear now. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Team Aqua Archie. So let's go ahead and take on the leader of Team Aqua. He's going to go ahead and send out a Crobat. And this battle is on its way, guys. We have Yellow up in front. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. The only thing is that Yellow did run out of Thunders last time. So that is one of the downsides to only having 10 PP on that move. So definitely might have to use our PP ups on Yellow in order to be able to use Thunder a little bit more. But regardless of that, we do have Yellow with his strong moves. He's still got a couple strong moves. So I think we'll be able to pull it off. Let's go ahead and go for another headbutt. I like how the Crobat is actually going for the evasiveness too. And there is the Confuse Ray that I've been telling you guys about. I feel like I've been telling you guys about this Confuse Ray situation for the longest time. And you know what? We're not going to deal with this today, guys. We're not going to deal with this today. Yellow missed the headbutt, but I'm going to go ahead and make things complicated for us. So here we go. Let's go ahead and send out Tuga. And now we're going to have a bit of a sandstorm going around. So I hope you guys are ready for the sand stream. I know that it makes battles a lot more difficult. But when you have Tuga on your side, I have a lot of faith and belief here in this guy that he'll be able to pull it off. And <laughs> we got poisoned. Okay. You know what? If we can just step it up, if we can just clutch this... If I could just land one rock type move and take down this crowbat, I would be very, very content with that. So let's go ahead and go for the rock tomb. Oh man, he's actually going to drop the confuse ray on us too. See, this is what happens when you don't have a PP up ready to go, guys. You always got to be ready with that, Tuga. Come on. Oh my goodness. We hurt ourselves in our confusion, and you guys know how this is going to go. I do have full restores though. So you know what, guys? Why don't we go ahead and actually use a full restore on Tuga? I think that... Oh my goodness. You know what? I actually totally just misclicked. Went for the Rock Tomb. And we got critted out. So that is how it's going to go today, huh? That is how this is going to go today. I see you. I see you, Archie. 
I see you have the game on your side. I see you have the crits on your side. So if that's what you're going to go ahead and do to me, I'm going to go ahead and do the same. We're going to go for a flamethrower here. And Rush is really, really strong too. So I'm pretty sure we'll be able to take it down. Let's go for the flamethrower. And just hang in there, Rush. You just got to clutch it in there just a little bit longer, my friend. Oh my goodness, this, this Crobat's evasiveness is actually kicking in. I can't believe that this is actually happening. A little Crobat is actually putting up this much of a fight. All I need is to land one flamethrower, and then this is pretty much all done. Just please, one flamethrower rush. That's all we need. And there we go, guys. We landed the flamethrower. That should definitely take down the Crobat. And good. Good on us. We actually have done it. We took down the annoying Crobat. Next up is going to be the gear dose. So here we go. Time for the gear dose to come out. And I am going to go ahead and we'll send yellow back out there against the gear dose because the gear dose won't do too much to us. I'm going to go ahead and also check if I have an elixir right now too, just to go ahead and use it. So let's go ahead and check this out because you guys know that the gear dose would be a one hit KO. We've took down so many gear dose of team aquas already that what's one more little level 48 gear dose going up against us. It just adds on to a little bit more of this. Okay. Okay. Archie, you got to calm down, my man. I just want to check the bags, and this is what I told you guys about the sandstorm. I knew it was going to go ahead and make things really, really tough, but it also makes it tough on our opponent. Okay, let's see what we got, guys. Have we found anything? We do have the PP Max, but I can't use it right now. We have the PP Up, too, but we can't use it right now. We have a bit of Stardust. We got PP Max. We got nothing that we can use right now. We're going to hope for the best here, and we are going to go for a Headbutt. I suppose if we spam a couple headbutts, oh my goodness, we hit a crit. What if we, and he flinched? What if just magically we got the crits on our side now? Because all of a sudden, I'm telling you guys, that definitely flipped in our direction. And this is actually turning out to be quite the battle. That's great. Whenever we get the chance to do this, it, it just turns out really, really fun. So let's go ahead and go for one more headbutt. And there we go. Oh, the gear dose almost went down. And I can almost guarantee you that Archie's going to whoop out a potion here. There is no doubt in my mind that that's what that dude's going to bring. He's totally going to whoop this out on us right now. Oh, my goodness. What do we do? Gyarados is so close to going down. Oh, my goodness. Okay, there it is. There it is. We got the hyper potion. That's okay, guys. We, we got the hyper potion out of the way. So let's go ahead and just keep going for the headbutts and hoping for the crits. That's pretty much all that we have happening here for us. You know what? Another thing that we could do. Let's see. Okay. Just, just, just hang in there a little bit longer. This storm is, you know, just hang in there, yellow. This storm has just been hitting, you know, everybody left and right. So we'll try to clutch this out. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, the rain dance. Finally. That is actually so much better. Now we won't have to deal with the freaking sandstorm. I would much rather have the rain going anytime right now. Okay. Rain continues to fall. I really hope that if I weaken him down to the point I had him before, he doesn't use another full restore. Archie is actually proven to be a lot tougher than Maxi. Maxi was actually really, really easy. I'm telling you, though, if we did have Thunders, this actually would have been an easy battle as well. So that's just how it's going to go. We're going to go for a couple more headbutts, and we are so close to taking down this Gyarados. He is powering up, though. So this guy doesn't want to go down without a fight. He's getting ready. He's like, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and Dragon Dance up as much as I can because I know that I'm going to have, like, one more chance at this. And I know that he definitely is going to. So he's probably going to take one more cheap shot at us. So let's see what this guy's going to do. Can we survive? Oh, my. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Archie? How many of these potions do you have, my man? Wow. Okay, guys. I really am so badly wishing that I had a thunder here for us. But that's okay. We just got to finish this out. We just got to spam the rest of the headbutts. And let's hope that the gear dose will go down. And wow, do you guys see how much damage he's actually doing? He's hitting us for like 40s right now. And there we go. We hit another crit. The rain has stopped. And we are doing A-OK. -okay. I think we are about to finish up this battle right here. So let's go ahead and go for... Oh, man. I'm running out of everything, guys. I'm out of headbutts. I'm out of thunders. And what was I expecting? We've had so many tough battles. And this is going to be it. If 
Aqua Archie has one more up his sleeve. I don't know what I'm going to do. There we go. We should be able to tank down the waterfall. And come on. With that, guys, we're going to use the crunch. And Gyarados has gone down. So it's going to come down to Archie's last Pokemon. Let's go ahead and see what it's going to be then. It is going to be an Amistar, and I am going to go ahead, and we will wrap things up really easy. We're going to send out Toad, and we will be finishing this up. So there we have it, guys. Last but not least is going to be the Amistar. The only thing that does freak me out a little bit is the fact that Amistar might have an Ice Beam hidden up there, and that could definitely hit Toad pretty hard, but we're going to hit him pretty hard as well. And let's see what the Amistar is going to do. Blizzard! See, I knew this guy had something. I knew this little guy was going to have something up his sleeve. And I guess it was Blizzard. You know, one of the strongest moves that can be used here on us. So let's go ahead and go for one more Mega Drain. And come on. Oh, okay, yeah, of course. Now we hit the crit. There we go, guys. We got the crit on our side. And fantastic. We defeated the Omastar. And with that, guys, we've gone ahead and defeated Aqua Leader Archie. What? I lost to a mere child? We got 4,000 for winning. Huh, I commend you. I must recognize that you are truly gifted, but I have this in my possession. What? Why? I can't be like Maxi. No, no, my beautiful dream. There's something wrong. I ought to have been got it. But why Why did the orb disappear? Why? What have you wrought? Archie, you seem... You have flight as me. I don't think you're better than me. Uh, what? Don't get all high and mighty with me. I prepared this plan very carefully, much more meticulous than you. I've lost a month to mobilize all the members of Team Aqua working day and night to manufacture the submarine and find this place. I had to keep this secret a long time, and now everything was reduced to ashes. We don't have the time to argue about it here. You failed. Accept it. This cannot be. My great plan. My dream. Hmm, you again. You're always present in the places like this. I warn you, when I reconsolidate my team, I'll take revenge on you. Farewell, you meddlesome kid. So with that, guys, it looks like we have stopped Archie from obtaining the blue orb. Sorry, I'm late. Are you okay? Oh, Team Aqua, we're here to obtain the blue orb. It seems the orbs were hidden in secret places and they can't find them. Team Aqua and Aqua tried many times to do a nonsense. Thank you, Rodri. You're not just a trust trainer, but you also have a wonderful heart. And with that, guys, we have one more badge and we will be able to visit the Pokemon League. Wow, you surprised me, Rodri. Hope to see you at the Victory Road. We should live here right now. See you later, Rodri. And as our friend said, we will be continuing from here next time and making our way to Victory Road. So with that, guys, we still have quite a bit to go. We have one more badge left to obtain, and then we have Victory Road to go to. So next time, guys, we'll be continuing from here. We'll go ahead and see what else we can check out, and we'll go ahead and explore the rest of this region. So make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. We'll hopefully be taking on the 8th gym next time. So make Make sure to stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys also go ahead and give this video a big like. It takes two seconds and it really does help the series. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.